My name's Jeb, and I appreciate beauty and simplicity. This video is sponsored by Shirley's Simple Shelving. They provide these steel brackets, you provide the wood, tools are optional, just grab the wood and put it in. That's right, I did it with one hand. It ends up my boards weren't perfectly straight, so I used the mallet. It's the perfect spot to experiment with hydroponic microgreens. I'm going to see if I can scale up my screen idea. Still using worm castings for nutrients. I'm trying to find the best way to mount this screen. This is how I bowline. Well, it seems tight enough. I'm going to see how much this cover affects germination. What do you think? I'm going to try germinating some in a jar, too.
smells bad already. Looks like I found the zone where the seeds sprout best. Lights getting under this lid somehow. My screens keep drooping. Algae's a challenge too. Well, it's a start. Got it? Yep. This is Ninja Sword! <laughs> oh, you getting the sword attack? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> That's a screen. <laughs> huh? What are those plants? These are radishes. That's cool. I can do better than this.
This garden bench cleans up real nice too. I'm gonna give the string method one more chance. Even with bungee cords, it's a pain. I'm skipping the peroxide soak this time. Looks like the seeds need to be right on the water to sprout. Plants can't transpire if they're underwater. Let the sun shine in. This one's actually working. Seems like the tight screen is the key. out for that third leaf. Even with the worm castings, I'm running into nitrogen problems.
Ninja Sword, don't fail me now. Almost got it right. The link to the shelvings in the video description. <laughs> <laughs>